Yo, what's good, fellas? Uh, today, I will be showing y'all how to port COD models uh, without having the game installed or purchased. So you'll need four tools for this. You'll need Game Image Util. You use this to convert the textures from DDS to PNG format. You'll need uh, SE Model, which is to import the meshes. Uh, you'll need this drive, which has the shader and the auto shader to make everything faster. And you'll need the Mega Folder which is required uh, if you don't have the game installed. This has most of the COD assets besides maps, as camos and everything like that. So, uh, first you want to open up the drive and install this. This is the blend file with the shaders and this is the plugin. So, um, just open up where you have it installed. Uh, for me, it'll be in, the, in my downloads folder and just extract it. Then, um, you have to go over here, click File, Append, go to where you keep it, um, find the folder. It is called COD Tools Blender. And then open this, go to the node tree, select all of it, and just append it. Then um, apply it to this, apply it to the, to the starter cube. Uh, I already have it applied. Uh, just click Shift A, search it. Uh, it's COD. Cod skin and then dog. Uh, this one, this isn't really useful for, for what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Then after that, if you want to, so you can have it saved, like as you're like whenever you open up Blender, you can click on what is it? Um, here, default and then save startup file. This will make it so that these will automatically be here whenever you open up Blender. Uh, I recommend this for every shader that you use, so you can just have it all in the same place. Then after that, you'll go to the mega file. And today I'll be just showing you guys how to put a, uh, a skin. The process is pretty straightforward for everything else, uh, just slightly different. I'll just go ahead and do um, here Firecracker. What you need to do? Go from Warzone 2, go to Characters, then find the skin that you want. Like I said, I'm gonna do Firecracker today. Then what you gotta do is just install this and then download uh, standard standard download. Once it's downloaded, just go to your um, go to your downloads folder or wherever it downloads, and then just extract it to either your desktop or wherever you want. So I'm gonna extract it to my desktop, and then where is it? Here, yeah. Extract it to your desktop, and then after that's done, you'll need to go and open. Uh, here, you'll need to go and install this plugin. Uh, since you already should have unzipped the, the file, you just go to Edit, Preferences, and then here you install, you install it like a normal plugin. Go to Download, the file, and then just double click this, and it'll install it. Since I already have it installed, it doesn't do anything. Next, uh, you'll need to install uh, SE Model Viewer. For this one, uh, even though it's just deprecated, it still works. All you gotta do is go to Code, and then Download Zip, and then... I believe you can just, yeah, you, you can just extra, uh, import this as a normal file. Uh, go to edit, preferences, install, like with the last one, go back to wherever you keep it, and then, where is it? Uh, here, uh, io model underscore se master, uh, se model dash master, just double click that and install Adam. So once you have all that done, uh, you can go ahead and delete all these, uh, it doesn't really matter. And then click on this and then you'll have the COD Tools panel. You can either import your SE models uh, through here, which is down there, or you can do it directly through here. I always do it through here because it's much easier because it's all in one place. So you do that, go to desktop or wherever you extracted it, find the one you need. So uh, since I'm doing Firecracker, I go here. I go to body and uh, I import the SE model file. So you'll notice the bones are a bit weird. Uh, to change that, you can just click on it, go to this panel. I'm not sure what it's called. Here, the data pa the the data pa the data panel. Click on viewport display, and then uh, just untick shapes, and then it'll go back to uh, it'll go back to normal like you're probably used to. You do the same thing for the head. Um, firecracker head. Uh, just ignore these two, you don't really need those, as far as I know. Go to these two, import them, and then do the same thing for this one. 
tick off shapes. After that, you click on the constraints tab, click child of, and select this one. After that, unlike uh, old Fortnite porting, how that used to be, you don't attach it to there, you attach it to the, to spine, uh, the J underscore spine folder. Which puts it on perfectly. So you'll see once you enter material preview mode, it's not, it's not horrible, but there's only the albedo textures. Uh, I'll show you guys how to fix his hair so it looks much better later. And you can just start by deleting this. So what you gotta do now is you have to install this game image util. You need to convert all the files into PNG format. So what you do, uh, you open it up. I already have it open here, and then you go to where you had your um, where you had your skin, uh, like the, the the entire folder downloaded. Go to we'll, we'll start with the body, and then in here search uh, .png or just P, or sorry, DDS. And then you see all this, just click Control A and drag all of it. After that's done, you want to search PNG, Control A, select all of it again, and then go to images here and paste it. Uh, it'll say this, it'll replace these files in the same destination, just say yes. All right, perfect. And now once that's done, uh, it's the same process for the head, but I'll show that as well. Click on anywhere you want, and then click on clear nodes. It'll turn everything black, it'll delete all the nodes. Then you want to press uh, apply shader. You need to find the file, the folder again. Go back to body and select any of these text files, uh, not the material ones, the text ones. Uh, from my experience, the the ones towards the top work much better than uh, towards the bottom because some of them are the skin textures and it tends to mess some things up. So you put them like that, and as you can see, everything is much better. Some things are a little bit shiny, but you have to fix it yourself, and I'll show how to do that later. Like this, this is like some of the materials are messed up. Same thing goes for this. Uh, go back, go to Firecracker, head, and search DDS again. Select everything and drag it into Game of Vegito. Go back, hit uh, search PNG, uh, Control A, and then copy it. Go back to images and paste it here. Replace these files. And then, same process. Uh, I usually click on the hair because sometimes it messes up the skin, but then you, you, can, you can fix that again later. Click apply shader. Go back to where it was. Um, and then you click on one of the top ones. One of the top text files. And as you can see here, some of the skin is shiny. I'll show you guys how to fix that after. So the hair, it's, it doesn't look like it's in the strands. You see, it's kind of messed up and there's a black border around them. What you gotta do here is select the select the hair. Sometimes it's in two pieces like this. You just gotta make sure that you hit both of them. Click on this one, the texture, the, the material panel. Scroll down to blend mode and click alpha hashed. This will make it all individual strands and it looks much better. Same thing goes for the eyebrows. You can see it fixes that and the eyelashes. Alpha hashed. As you can see, the eyes are a little bit fucked up, but you can fix that later. So that's that's most of it done. Now you go to the individual things that are messed up. So here, it's the face. Um, keep this in mind, 641EF. That's the, that's the name of the texture for the face. So you hit uh, skin, SS only. It deletes the, it disconnects the node from there. Then you go back to your file. Uh, so here it's the head. And you look for the, the one that it says there. 641EF. So double click that, and as you can see, it fixes everything. For the chest here, it's the same process. Uh, 1F1CB, skin SS only. Uh, firecracker, body, and then 1F1. Gotta find that one here. 1F1C, double click that, and it fixes it, you see? So it blends it perfectly. And now for the eyes, these are fucked up, but you can fix this very easily. Just click on the eyes, make sure you have the texture selected. And uh, there will usually be a duplicate, so just delete that. Um, you have to mess around with this, sometimes it's the albedo alpha that's fucked up. So you delete that, and then uh, there. And you can see that it's pretty much perfect now. Um, there is an issue, um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this, but a lot of the bones, they don't control anything. For instance, this one, you can move it all you want, it won't do anything. 
This one I believe is the same. This one as well. So if you want, you can go ahead and go into edit mode and delete all the ones that do nothing. But uh, I don't do that, it's, it's just a waste of time. I'd, I'd rather just click through and choose the ones that are broken. So yeah, I uh, hope this short tutorial has helped you all. Uh, it's a really simple process. Um, if you ever have issues with this, um, I try to learn how to texture everything without the auto, the auto, uh, the auto shader, so that you can see what you're doing and what you're doing wrong. I hope this tutorial has helped you all, and uh, have a great day.